These games will be played Friday and Sunday. Georgetown, the winner of the Big East Tournament, the number one seed, will go against Bucknell. In the Southeast, Kentucky, surprisingly high seed with an 18-10 record, goes against Ohio State. Kansas, led by Danny Manning, goes against Washington. If Washington should win the Pac-10 today, if not, it will be Houston. Right now, the score in that game, UCLA leads it 61-53. They're in the second half. Nine minutes remain. Clemson, out of the Atlantic Coast Conference, will go against Southwest Missouri State from the Mid-Continent Conference. Now, in Birmingham at the Civic Center, these games will be played Thursday and Saturday, March 12th and 14th. Providence, first appearance since 1978. Alabama-Birmingham, the winner of the Sun Belt, is the 11th seed. Illinois, out of the Big Ten, gets the number three seed and will play Austin P. First time for Austin P since 1974. In the Southeast, congratulations to the Privateers. A marvelous season. Their first trip, Division I, to the NCAA. will play BYU. Alabama gets the number two seed, the sixth straight appearance for Alabama, and they will go against North Carolina A&T, which beat Howard. So there you have it. Now we are halfway through the process. Now in Birmingham in the Southeast Regional, Providence and UAB, that's a, that's a tough assignment, obviously, for Providence, having to play on their home court. They've got a week to rest up a little bit. They, uh, they couldn't handle two nights in a row in the Big East Tournament, but it's a very, very good club. New Orleans, the host of this year's Final Four. That's a team a lot of people like with Liddell Eccles down there. But, you know, look at below them, Jimmy. Alabama really is a team that a lot of folks think can go all the way to the Final Four this year. That'll be tough if they meet them. Alabama went through the regular season, won the SEC, won the postseason tournament today. Now, all